I know people for so long, but they're my friend. But Asoma is my brother to the president of uh, FA. They need people like him around these boys to win him tomorrow trophies by trophies like what Senegal did. If he came to Senegal tomorrow, he can work with us, definitely. Because he deserves it for what he did, he, 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 he need more than more. Yes, so hello guys, welcome back to Sports Updates Ghana. My name is Joseph Adamafio and today I'm currently at the number one Oxford Street where uh, El Hajidi of the Senegalese legend has landed in Ghana ahead of Ghana's legend Asamajan's book launch and they had a very fruitful conversation and discussion with the media and have all the details here on Sports Update Ghana. So you know what to do, please subscribe to the channel, like, share and don't forget to leave a comment. The video will play right after this. El Hajidio, you're welcome to Ghana. Thank you very much. Um, I know this is not your first time in Ghana, but how does it feel to return to Ghana for your friends? Seriously, first of all, you have to know the I'm a Muslim festival and in three days time we get a three days of fasting and uh, I'm supposed to stay with my family but uh, I leave everything for this man, Asimawaja, legend, one of my favorite players, one of the best players, the best striker I've ever seen in my life, talking about the world. And uh, when he asked me, and uh, you know, uh, I didn't know Asimawaja from so, so, so long, you know, but I can tell he's my brother. I know people for so long, but they're my friend. But Asoma is my brother coming from the heart. And seriously, that's why I'm here to support him. And to support Asoma Jan is about like to support him Africa. That's why old legend have to be here for this man because uh, he will represent Africa very well. And I'm so proud for that. That's why I came here to say, and my, my coming here is about one thing, to say thank you very much for everything you did for football and in Africa. Mm -hmm. Asama, for you as well, um, how does it feel to have a legend here for your book launch? Yeah, it's a great feeling to, to have um, my friend and brother. Um, we, we talk a lot behind the scene, and, um, we meet in a lot of um, African legend games. And um, yeah, you know, so when the time came, I, I just told him about the upcoming program. You know, and I know he's somebody who is very, very supportive, you know, no matter what, no matter where. You make sure you come to support, you know. So uh, when I told him about the program, I didn't even finish talking. He said, "Hey, stop it! You're my brother. I'm coming to support you." And here we are. Um, the office here, you know, one of the best African strikers we've ever had. You know, um, he won two African um, Football of the Year. You know, when he was playing in a in a in in small team before he went to Liverpool. You know, so the legacy that he's brought in this game. I'm sure he's got a lot of fans in Ghana who are here to see him as well. And then on, on that very day, on the 30th, you know, and everybody is here. When they see him, they'll be also inspired. You know, so, Yof is my brother, so I'm very, very happy to, to, to meet him. Okay, well, one, one will ask what kind of relationship is it between the two of you? Is it about entertainment, football wise, when you guys are alone? What do you often discuss? We have a lot of things similar here yeah, now. Small. We have a lot of things in there because we have been very personal and we love the continent, we love our country and we did a lot for our country and we didn't do it for nothing. Like uh, for that I want to say to the national team, uh, for, to the president of uh, FA, they need people like him around these boys to win him tomorrow trophies by trophies like what Senegal did. We have Alucise, El Hajiju, Lamin Jata, Tony Silva, and watch the result right now. You can't not have a man like him. Uh, with, uh, if he came to Senegal tomorrow, he can work with us, definitely. Because he deserves it for what he did. He, 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 he need more than more. And uh, like what he said like on the beginning, we have something similar. We love life. We respect ourselves, we respect everybody, and we just want to never stop to do it for, to do it for Africa. And uh, the main thing we have together is about the love we have for our country. The, uh, if you see him play uh, for Ren, for his former club in, uh, in, in, in Italy, like me in Liverpool or somewhere else, I give more when I used to play for the national team. Uh, the 
then when I used to play for my uh, uh, club team. That's what we just can call love. That's why today, watch how many players they stop and want to stay in Europe. Don't do it nothing. But we came here, uh, continue to support our, our 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 young brothers. The experience we we have over there just came here to bring it to our young brothers. I like the uh, the fact that you said that uh, when he comes to Senegal, he will be part of your uh, football um, dignitaries or association. Uh, would you say? People like you, your influence played in Senegal's success at the 2021 AFCON. Second, uh, Senegal winning the AFCON in this year. Will you say people like you, legends like you, your influence played a role in it as well? Definitely yes, because uh, I remember I used to fight for Ali Sisi to become the the, 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 the coach. I, I mean that I was there already, and after I came as a like a team manager, and uh, we have Tony Silva, the, uh, our ex goalkeeper, 2002, to be like. A, the, 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 the goalkeeper coach. Today you see the best goalkeeper in the world, one of the best goalkeepers in the world we have it because Tony Silva is dead. Not because he is in Chelsea, because he changed so many times team, but your national team is only one. You understand me? Like what they say, uh, today the best example is what Cameroon did. They go back from and people to know the house, to tell to know the national team around. Like, uh, I don't say that to want to disturb any, 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 anybody. I just want to say that because it's trustful. You cannot have a man like him with his experience and the top scorer of this uh, national team, and you cannot use him as a, like, uh, uh, to, can, to, can, to can talk to these boys. And obviously, from, from this World Cup, I didn't see the time for him to go to work for the national team like us in this World Cup. They need him. And until he came to Qatar, definitely I'm gonna call him to come to talk to our boys. Mm. Because they, if we, I, I remember I talked to Sadi Mane. He's a big fan of him. Wow. It is second day. He's a big fan of him. You know? And until George Weah, we're talking about the King George. He's a big fan of him. That's why when you have a legend like him, you know, I know you cannot put or call everyone. Uh, all people, uh, most of the people to play for the national team to come, tell them to come. but. You that people like him, that's why you need him because he's the one of the greatest legends you have in this country. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, no, okay. I wanted to know what you think about Senegal and Ghana's chances for both of you at the World Cup. You both played in World Cup quarter finals. Do you think this is the time that we'll be able to reach a semi final? And how are the teams looking for the World Cup? Again? So, I'll start. So, can you start our hard now? You know, uh, I know more the Senegal is team, but uh, everyone thinks Senegal is going to fly like this in the work. You know, I'm a member of the staff, and what I have to say to people, it's about like, the uh, World Cup is not African nation, Cup is not a level. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big level, and as I can tell you that as well. It's a big level, and uh, at the World Cup, you're going to play against like the best player in the world. And when you're playing against the best player in the world, you have to take game after game. It's not like the African Nation Cup when everyone thinks Senegal is the best team in Africa and we are the best team in Africa. But for this World Cup, the first game we have in uh, Holland, you know, Paiva, we're going to have Holland, uh, they have good players, we just want to have a good result, you know, and uh, after we're going to play uh, Equatorial and Qatar and for that game we have to, we have to win. And uh, like what they say, Every time I'm talking to my boys, hey, you have to write your proper issue. And they're ready to do it because they play for the big team right now. But I think Senegal have a big time chance to, 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 to reach a little bit All right. And some of our own Yeah, um, you know, as I said, you follow by the, the, the hard way. You know, so it means. Uh, we are doing something right because uh, to eliminate a team like Nigeria, uh, this qualifies, which everybody thought that was an underdog. You know, um, we were able to stick together, we were able to um, maintain the game plan and everything. And I always say kudos to the technical team because um, the way they were able to manage the game in Nigeria, um, I think they play a huge role. You see, they did their, their homework well. You know, it was 0 0 in Masi, and they were going to Nigeria, and they were able to score the first. You know, although there was pressure, they, they did some substitutions that was able to um, 
hold the Nigerians were able to possess the ball, delay the time, kept the ball. You know, the team management, like everything. Um, I can remember after the game, I tweeted on my, my page that Otuado is a masterclass because what he did in, in, in Nigeria was, was an amazing thing. And um, I wrote his name, but kudos to all the, the, the coaching team, the players, those who fought their heart out you know, to, to die for the nation, to qualify, you know, to, to qualify to, to a World Cup is not an easy task. It's the highest level in football to play in the World Cup. You know, so, Ghana being there, we are grateful, we are happy. And then now we are not saying we are going to win the World Cup. We have to go there and then prepare well and then we see what happens. The most important thing is to qualify from the group stage and then you see what happens. Hmm. The most important thing in the book, what's your anticipation? What do you think will be in the book and how inspirational would it be to the next generation? I think so is, uh, for him is, uh, it's normal to, to write something and to leave it for the young generation. You know, and it inspires a lot of people. I'm uh, getting my book too soon, and uh, I think that is a good thing. Before you remember, we have a great player like Jean uh, Francois Bocande, Abadi Pele, but then they, they never write it for the young generation. And I think that today, for the young generation or the, 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 the generation features coming, they need it for one thing to say, hey, you know what? I said, well, they don't hear from people like Asa Omajani score how many goals. They just read the book and they know how to make it because it comes from nothing. It can, the book is about like where it came from. It coming from zero to the hero. That's the most important thing of the book. And our, we see in the life where they say, we come from nothing. When I was young, my grandparents, my grandparents used to sell peanut and fish on the street. And I make it because I got talent and I was focused, I was very serious on my business. And that's, it's not about only football, it's about like where we're coming from and how we make it. Mm -hmm. um, I have one more question. Come on, boss. Please, the cameras are here. He's won that match. He's won the half point. He's doing very well in Liverpool. If they win the Premier League and the Champions League, do you think he deserves to win the Ballon d'Or? Do you think he has a strong team? But you, you know what? Uh, it's, I love to see Sajamano win the Ballon d'Or, the European Ballon d'Or, definitely. As well, as well, want to see, love to see one. Uh, uh, are you win the Ballon d'Or, European Ballon d'Or? Want to see Ghanaian people win, win the Ballon d'Or again, or African people? But uh, you know, so many people, it's beyond this Ballon d'Or. We're talking about Benzema he scored 40 goals. We're talking about like. Uh, Salah is one of the top scorers in the in in, 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 in in the Premier League, and uh, Sadio is doing very well. I think so for Sadio, like what George Weah said last week in Liberia, uh, it's not about like thinking I want to be the Ballon d'Or of uh, uh, European Ballon d'Or because me as well I went two time African Player of the Year, but when I used to play, I never thinking about like uh, winning. I'm thinking about only one thing: uh, enjoy and uh, making people happy. And I think so, Sadio got uh, five more years at the, at the highest level. And I think so, if you keep doing what you know to do and what you have to do, I think so one day it is uh, going to happen. So that is it. Well, I hope you enjoy the conversation. You can see behind me, Asamojan still having his interview with the media and uh, uh, the book will be launched on um, Saturday, April 30th. So if you are not doing anything and you've gotten your invitation, make sure you are the AICC for the book launch of the legendary Asamwaja, where the CAF president, Patrice Motsebe, will be in attendance as well as Ghana's president, Nana Dudankwa Akufuadam. The name is still Joseph Adam Afiyo. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel.